One of the many remarkable features of Beethoven's third symphony is the presence of a funeral march in the second movement. Beethoven invites us to mourn, in his own words, the memory of a great man. But the greatness of the music arguably outlives whomever that might be a reference to. Now, what are the main ingredients of a march? Well, we need a dotted rhythm, bom, ba, bom, ba, bom, and a very square binary meet one, two, one, two. One that we could indeed march to with our own two feet. But what makes a march funeral? Well, we need a minor key, C minor in this case, and a slow tempo. Here are all these ingredients put together at the beginning of the movement. It doesn't take long, however, for this fairly straightforward music to follow a series of twists and turns, and this is where greatness comes in, the greatness of the hero, his strength, his victories, but also his struggles and inner complexities, and correspondingly, the greatness of the music itself, of course. And nowhere are those struggles and complexities more overwhelmingly evident than in the fugue at the heart of the movement, starting on one and the same pivotal note, two opposite ideas are at constant loggerheads. A vertical idea, four notes falling down like hammers, and a horizontal idea, a rising and falling line following the pattern of a scale. Now the different instruments of the orchestra come in successively, reinforcing one or the other of these two conflicting ideas. First, the second violins and violas. Then, firsts and flutes. clarinets and cellos, and basses and seconds, and finally, violins and woodwind. But that's not all. At the same time, a third diagonal idea joins the conflict. Short, jagged semiquavers literally puncturing the musical scene. Now here are all three ideas played together. Together, these three ideas swell towards a monumental tutti and drain all the energy out of our musical hero. The orchestra has just about enough strength left to utter the beginning of the march. But in the wrong key, instead of C minor, G minor. Our hero appears to be lost. And just when he's at his most vulnerable, reduced musically to a frail A flat hanging in the violins, a terrifying force rises from the bases and seizes him by the throat. The trumpets signal this as a call of fate.
something decisive is about to happen. Here indeed, at this high point of unresolved dramatic intensity, is where Beethoven decides to return to the funeral march and the home key of C minor. Only, he doesn't put the same note in the bass. Instead of the stable tonic C, as in the exposition, we have an unsettling dominant G. And with that dominant, comes a threatening growl from the deep. Just listen to that stunning crossfade effect between the end of the climax and the beginning of the recapitulation. Recapitulation, which is supposed to feel like coming home safe and sound. Clearly, our symphonic hero isn't out of the woods yet. If you want to know how it all ends, why don't you come and hear the BSO live in concert? <laughs>